Boys and girls, welcome back to a brand new video, and in today's video, we are going to be ranking every single melee weapon in Zombies. If you are new around here, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and turn your post notifications on. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6pm GMT UK time. So, we're going to be starting this video off with the Bowie Knife. The reason I decided to put the Bowie Knife as the worst on the list is because, although it is where it started, it doesn't hold up that well as the rounds go on. And it's 3,000 points, which is kind of insane. I just want to see how long I can last with it and how long it actually holds up as the rounds progress. The only time I don't need to hit the box and it's right in front of me. Let's just see what I would get anyway. Just, well, I mean, why not? I better get the Thunder Gun. That's not the Thunder Gun, but that's semi-decent. It's just a shame I can't take it. Where is the last zombie? He is right there. Well, there's two of them. So goodbye to you and goodbye to you, my friend. Really want to get Juggernaut before the dog round, but I don't know if I'm going to do it. The dogs are either going to spawn the next round or round six. And I don't really think these are going to hold up against them. Obviously, I have to get really close to even get a kill. And with the dogs jumping at me, I feel like I'm going to go down really easy if I don't have Jug. The zombie gods really gave me an insta-kill when I've got this combination on round 4. That is kind of insane, I'm not going to lie. Just accidentally shot a ballistic knife and I can't pick it up. Okay, and that's what happens when I um, get distracted. I guess one of the good things is when I knife these, they don't actually explode. They only explode if I shoot them. So yeah, I guess that's a pro of these things. Give me this quick before I go down. So because they jump up, oh, he didn't actually hit me. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, that one did. I just got a max ammo for something that doesn't require ammo. I mean, well, it kind of does because of that. But yeah, I'm just going to shoot them all because I'm not going to use them anyway. And now it's just going to say no ammo on my screen. Do apologize. But um, yeah, I mean, they still work kind of. I've still got a knife so how have i got no ammo exactly can somebody please help me with that the real question is should i get all the perks also you know if i get double tap i mean i know it increases my damage but does it increase the rate that i can swipe all these guys as well i don't know but i want to find out so now we've got double tap let's test this theory shall we it seems like it doesn't but let's see it in action so if i get you and then i get you and then i get you yeah it doesn't really do much to be honest it's literally made no difference but i'm just so glad these things do not blow up in my face excuse me mate can you just uh haha <laughs> die really really want to upgrade these things when i got 5,000 points but i just want to see how the default ones hold up for the time being i might upgrade them i might not my boy really gave me an insta kill when it's just a one knife anyway like come on man you know what i can't take it anymore i've literally got to upgrade it i just feel the itch so bad oh okay then i need to link the pad first i knew that on the bright side as well at least it gets rid of the no ammo on my screen because i'm telling you that is irritating me so much it's ridiculous man so the bowie knife stays the exact same it's the ballistic knife that changes i'm trying to get in some good light so you can kind of see there's no good light here yeah this is literally pointless there's no good light at all does it really give you a hit marker on this round let's try it uh fire yeah it literally gave me a hit marker that is ridiculous how do i get a hit mark on round nine with a pack a punch ballistic knife can somebody please explain that to me okay this is kind of crazy i'm not gonna lie this is what i meant by my play style kind of changing like what am i gonna do am i gonna stand here and do this or am i just gonna kind of back off i guess it's a bit of both oh my god leave me alone this is insane okay and i've gone down so for the next map on this list or melee weapon should i say is the cliffhanger from a custom map called europa on black ops 3 if you do want to play this map and have access to a PC and all that good stuff, the link will be in the description below. If I remember from recent memory of actually playing this map, by the way, this is one of the first custom maps apart from Leviathan that I've ever played. I feel like I butchered that name, but it's whatever. It's actually quite awful, but I mean, I'm sure we'll find out. I think it's only at the number four spot for me personally. Because, listen, I just think it looks really cool. And when I first booted this map up, I didn't expect to have, well, this as a starting weapon. And also, when you're lunging, you're basically just asking to get hit by other zombies. So, when you get to the higher rounds, it's just gonna, well, it's just gonna ruin you, isn't it, really? A thousand points for the first door, mate, that is absolutely mad. You'll be glad to know that on round three, this thing is still a one hit. But why am I getting a max ammo when I literally do not have a gun? Like, come on, use your common sense, bro. And for the guy that commented that said I sound like shrimp from Smiling Friends, my dad actually saw the comment and he put Smiling Friends on the TV on the YouTube app. And you know what? I agree with you. I laughed my head off when I first saw that. Where's the last zombie? Can I get down there? No, I can't. 
Just look at this scenery, man. It's absolutely insane. And you were the last zombie. No, you weren't. I think I started a new round. I don't really know. I should probably get out the starting room, though. I think that's a good idea. I am genuinely having a lot of fun right now. Double points. You know what? Great timing. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm having so much fun. Hello, little zombie. And goodbye. <laughs> I should really get out of this starting room. You know what? I've nearly got 7,000. I'm going to wait for the double points to run out. And then I'm going to just disappear. So the double points has gone. This is the last zombie. So I'm just going gonna dip out of here i cannot remember the layout of this map so yeah this is gonna be interesting we've got double tap right there but i need to turn the power on where is the power room is it right in there i cannot remember to save the life of me so i'm guessing this is the central power room initialize power generators yeah i was definitely correct we found juggernaut as well which is great stuff so we know where quick revive is double tap and juggernaut fantastic where is speed color though i'm gonna guess and say it's this way i was wrong but we've got Viga rush which is always good so to initiate this power thing what do i do have i just gotta get kills around the station or have i just gotta wait it out i really don't know hold e to begin fluid transfusion sequence okay is this gonna be kind of like a lockdown thing yeah it's a lockdown great stuff this is going to be fantastic i might have timed it quite well though i'm just hoping loads of zombies don't spawn so i've literally just got to wait for these to fill up i don't actually have to kill any zombies but i might as well since i mean i've got this really cool melee weapon what are these guys doing oh wait is it a two hit now hang on i need to find out hang on a minute it's a two hit okay this is great i'm just really hoping i can pack a punch it then what's up my boy and oh my god goodbye oh man oh man please don't kill me oh no i'm a little bit stuck no i'm not no i'm not yes i am oh my god okay i've gone down oh man this is getting kind of crazy we're only around five as well do you remember when i said black ops one is the harder game currently as it stands it's not but i am gonna get juggernaut when i have the opportunity okay the power's still not on for whatever reason have I got to hit the button again? Turn power on. Yes, I've just got to hit the button again. Now I can probably get Jug. Let's uh, let's give it a try. The light is on. I can get Juggernaut. Fantastic. Oh my gosh, I'm getting a little bit surrounded right now. This is kind of mad. Oh my gosh, this is kind of crazy. I had a feeling that this melee weapon wasn't going to be that good considering you literally get it at the start. But I had high hopes. I'm just hoping that I work out how to get into there for the pack a punch. I've literally got to hold the backwards key while I'm doing this so I don't latch onto the zombie. Bit. oh my god i didn't realize there were that many so how do i get in there have i got to click the button again lower water levels okay i don't know what that does i'm guessing it lets me in there for the pack punch a death machine this is really good but i don't really want to use it right now so we are opening the pack punch fantastic stuff i've just got to survive long enough to be able to get it first things first i'm gonna go back and get quick revive because if i don't then i'm probably gonna die hang on a minute so if i open this starting room door like i just did it still makes me pay for this one it doesn't even open both sides right away that's really annoying at least we found speed color though even though it is quite useless to us right now 1250 for this door yeah i've definitely just trapped myself what an idiot Ooh, electric cherry that's great but i'm not gonna be really loading anytime soon so apparently i can't pack a punch this thing so it's literally just a case of me surviving until I die right now. Hold up a minute. Where's Viga Rush gone? You know what? Don't even care right now. I'm just going to hit the Wonder Fizz. Is that Mule Kick? Why would I take that? Okay, so let's hit it again real quick. And hopefully, I'll get something good. I don't know what that would entail. But let's just see if I get something great. What did I get? I got... I don't know, but I'm going to grab it because the zombies are going to kill me. We got Widow's Wine. You know what? That's actually really good considering we're using only melee weapons right now. So if a zombie hits me, I mean, well, just look. This happens. So... This is good. I'm liking this. And I just got another kaboom or a nuke, as you guys call it. And apparently, you can even inspect this thing. That is pretty goddamn cool. So, on round seven, this thing is still a two hit. I mean, that was kind of like a one and a half hit. But yeah, you get my point. Really wonder if double tap would help me right now. Oh no, I got myself a little stuck. Let's get out of here. So, if I hit them with the knife, they just literally just stop walking. Now that I've got none of those Widow's Wine Grenades, does that effect still happen? Um, no, it doesn't. Great stuff. Oh my god, I'm getting surrounded. Please just, like, leave me alone. Please, I'm just trying to test out this gun. It just turns out you guys are the guinea pigs. I'm sorry, okay. What's up, my boy? <laughs> oh no, I got myself a little bit stuck. This is not good at all. Please don't kill me. We got an insta-kill. You know what? That's actually good right now because this thing was a two hit up until now and we got a double points. This is great. Any more zombies so I can rack up some points? You there and also you right there. Great stuff. That is, I believe, the end of the round. Viga Rush, let's get it. I can't remember what it does, but yeah, 
yeah, we're gonna take it anyway. Great stuff. I'm just hoping it makes my weapon a lot stronger. I mean, it does seem like it by the icon, but who actually knows? So I can get more than four perks. That's also a great sign. PhD flopper, fantastic. Yeah, this just, it's not going well, is it? Let's be real. So I can only hold five perks. Oh my God, okay. This is about to get a bit crazy, guys, not gonna lie. Oh my gosh, no, 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 okay, I have just gone down. Time to move on to the next map, I guess. So the next on my list is, when I get it, the Galava Knuckles, because they are absolutely insane. I'm gonna try and get them by only actually meleeing. I'm just not gonna try and shoot a bullet this video at any zombie. Listen, I know I did it when I went down, but that doesn't count because that part was actually over, technically. Let me see if I can actually get it before the end of the round. I want to see if it's possible. So if I let you out of here, that gives me a little bit of points because you're breaking this, I think, right? Yes, I was correct. It gave me 200 points. Oh, man, I nearly just died straight away. So if I go in here, open this, there should be another booze. It's right there. So if I aim you for about there, I think that's right. And then you hit the jug. Oh, wait, I think I've done this a bit wrong. I don't know, actually. I don't think I have. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, I have because I missed for a start, which is fantastic. I need another booze right now. So I can buy one for 1,000. Great. So now I'm on 100 points, which is fantastic. I think you're the last zombie as well. Let's try that again, shall we? So if I line you up about there, I think that's going to be a lot better. I'm hoping anyway. If it's not, then I mean, well, yeah, let's go. Oh, no, I've done it. I've definitely done it this time. Oh, yeah, let's freaking go, boys. So now that we've got 1,700, if I go buy another booze, I'm going to get even more money, I think. So if I aim you for there, hopefully I got that right, you can hit there. I literally cannot miss. But I think this is going to end the round because, um, please don't end the round. It didn't. Great. How did I miss that? I'm actually so autistic. So I had to end the round, guys. I'm sorry. Do apologize. But we're going to carry on where we left off which is wherever the booze is going to spawn. It's probably not going to spawn there. So the booze has spawned back in here. Great stuff. Now I've got to aim him correctly this time because last time, well, to put it bluntly, I didn't do it. So come over here a little bit, bro. Just, just over here, just a tiny bit. Come on, man. Okay, there we go. Let's aim and fire. If I miss, honestly, I'm so acoustic. And I've literally missed again. Okay, I didn't. You know what? That's good. Okay, I'll take that. So let's get the Galava Knuckles and put them. Where can I put them? Let's put them over... Let's put them over here. So we're going to put the Galava Knuckles right there, considering we need them immediately for this actual part of the video. I only need 2,500 more as well, pretty much. So it shouldn't be that difficult. I'm just trying to not shoot a bullet and do this. We'll put one right here as well. There we go. That's that one done. So now we don't need a lot more. We need like 15. Just need to weave around these zombies like an absolute goat. And then put this on the wall when it lets me. There we go. That's the AK7 for you on there. Where are the other spots I can put things on the wall? Literally cannot remember, but since I'm here, let's put the power on. Wonder if I can make this jump. Can I do it? No, I can't. Well, hang on a minute. Have I just glitched? Am I allowed to be in this spot right now? Is this zombie going to kill me? I have literally got to put one more piece of chalk on the wall and I cannot think of another spot where I can do it to save my life. Hang on a minute. I think there's a spot. Um, What's just happened? I don't know. Pretty sure there's a spot in there. Okay, I cannot get there for whatever reason. Great stuff. So if I open this, there's got to be another spot. I'm pretty sure there is another one in here. Okay, I was a little bit wrong. Or is it up here? Why won't it let me go? Is it going to let me go up? Okay, so now it's letting me go up. It's definitely not there. That's part of the Easter egg. And oh, I've done it again. I've literally just tripped myself up. You know what? Honestly, I'm just going to give up and keep knifing them until I've got enough. It won't take me that long to do it. Actually, have I got any money in the bank? Don't think I have, but let's check anyway. I mean, I know that's not doing it legit, but listen, I don't care right now. Can I take any money out? Um, Deposit money? No, so I can't withdraw anything because I'm broke. Oh my gosh. Oh man, I'm so dead right now. No, I'm not. Okay then. Hang on a minute, have I got Perma Juggernaut right now? Hang on a second, let me test this out. Apparently I have. Okay, that's pretty cool. I did think that I did not have it. So if I jump across there, there's got to be another spot. Oh, it just takes me back to the pub. I knew that. What if? Hang on, have I done the Juggernaut yet? Yeah, I've done the Juggernaut, right? Okay, so I've done that. So if I knife him and bring him over here and aim him when I can get him in a good spot, and if I aim him like there, I think that's a good enough shot. I'll get some money from this. Probably not a lot, but still, it's better than nothing. So I got 1,010 for that. And then I knife these guys a few times like this. And hopefully, then I've got enough. 
I mean, technically still did it without shooting a bullet. So, I mean, GG's. Really want to shoot a bullet at this zombie right now, but that's not what this video is about. So, let's not do that. So, we now have enough for the Galore Knuckles, finally, after what felt like a whole eternity. I do apologize about that, by the way. I already know that you can't upgrade these, but I just think they're really good and really powerful anyway. I think they are a one-shot up until maybe round 30 or round 25 or something like that. I'm 100% sure of that, actually. No, I'm not. So, please feel free to fact check me in the comments. The reason I put this one at the number 3 spot is because, I mean, well, first of all, it's quite easily accessible, as I've just proved. And it's mega, mega powerful. And to be fair, I just think it's really cool. I just got a perma perk, and I don't know what it is. I just think it's really cool that it's like a knuckle duster, but it's like electric. Kapow! I mean, if that isn't cool, then I don't really know what is. Do you know what I mean? I just think it's really cool. This is when Treyarch actually cared, or more Activision, should I say, more than anything, actually cared about the zombies community. This is the prime of zombies, apart from Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 was really good. I'm 25 years old, though, so this is my prime of zombies. This is when I was like, 12 13 or something like that maybe even 14 no actually i'll take that back i definitely wasn't 14 this is just the game i have the fondest memories on from when i was really really young my boy's getting blasted Hoorah! we got another double points oh yeah i'm just gonna try and save up loads of money as well to put in my bank for well whenever this map comes up in another video or if i just play it by myself and we got an insta kill as well because we really really needed that right now <laughs> i'd just like to say thank you as well for the support of my most recent videos honestly my video has been slapping so hard, bro. I can't even lie. We're on 1,038 subscribers right now, which is insane. So if you are enjoying the video so far, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and turn those post notifications on. Like I've already said, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 p.m. GMT UK time. We are on the road to 2,000 subscribers. I never thought I'd even hit 1K, which is absolutely insane. But now to say we're on the journey to 2,000 subscribers, honestly, it's insane. And my dad also said he'll give me 2,000 pounds. Anyways, let's move on to the next map before these guys absolutely absolutely surround me and well kill me so now as you can see we're on mob of the dead and i'm going to show you how to get this kind of hidden melee weapon you have to do an easter egg to get it so i'm just going to show you all the steps to do it so the first thing you have to do is you have to feed all three dogs there's one here there's one in the infirmary just below where the plane actually is and then there's also another one at the docks. This is usually the second one that you'll actually feed based on the way you'll go around the map because Juggernaut is only up there. I mean, you guys have probably played this map so you know this already, but I'm just going through the basics in case no one knows actually how to do any of the setup. Where are the rest of the zombies? That's what I want to know right now. I mean, I know we're only around three, but come on, bro, where are you? So I think I'm going to get the Tommy gun because the zombies are going to start running at me a little bit right now, and this is going to help massively, and I'll just get points quicker overall, to be honest. I know I said that I don't want to shoot a bullet this video, but I realise I've got to actually do the setup for this. I could have just given it myself through the mod menu, but I don't want to be that guy. I actually want to do it legit. So that's the second dog location done. Like I said, the last one is in the infirmary, which is just below where you'll actually build the plane. Really? There's a double points and a nuke, and I can't even get to him. Okay, this is going to be great. Oh, hang on. There was two nukes and a double points. That was kind of mad. In that case, I'm going to buy Juggernaut before anything else. Thank you very much. Now that we've got Juggernaut, we can go up in the gondola and go towards where the infirmary is so the quick way to get to the infirmary is through the cafeteria that's the way usually that people go but i mean i'm not going that way so it's just a lot more well cheaper i guess is the word i'll use to go this way i also don't recommend doing this one last because this one is arguably the hardest just for reference as well there's an acid gap part that usually spawns right there if it doesn't spawn there it will spawn in here somewhere either on there or maybe in here or something. Also, don't forget to bring the warden's key with you because you can open that as well. I'm really trying to conserve these zombies for the dog just because it's quicker and easier than moving on to another round. So that dog is now complete. We can go collect the Hell's Retriever, which is a tomahawk type thing. But you guys probably already know that as well. So from here, the quickest way to actually get down there is to go into afterlife mode just like this. And then what you do is, if I remember correctly... You can go up here, which is a little shortcut if I can even get it. Okay, maybe I can't. Can I get it from there? Did I get it? I don't actually know. You know what? Let's just do this. And you know what? Let's just do it the legit way. Why not? So once you've opened up that bit, you'll have to come down these stairs. And then you can literally just go through this door right there to the Citadel Tunnels or however you say that. And you can collect it right here. So once you've done that bit, I mean, you should probably open this bit before. But yeah, I just haven't for whatever reason. If you go down into afterlife mode, first of all, you can get the warden's key if you didn't get it from the cafeteria already. And then you can go, oh my gosh, which way do you go? I cannot remember. Oh yeah, you go still back through there again. 
Then you go down this way, just like this. Go, go, go. Hit that right there. And then once you've done that, it opens up these doors right here. And then you can hit this for speed coil as well. I mean, why not? You might as well be efficient if you can, do you know what I mean? So I actually forgot you need to build the plane. And yeah, I mean, I've started building the plane pretty much is what I'm saying right now. So I think the next part I'm going to get is going to be the part where you have to do the washing thing. I think, I don't, you know what? I don't actually know. Honestly, I've opened up the map so weirdly that I've got to do a whole loop on myself just to get to where I want to go some times it's so annoying so the numbers are five seven three okay five seven and number three great stuff now we run back up here and we got to run all the way back down with our actual character to collect the part why did i just kill him that was really really stupid of me I've got 44 seconds. I wonder if I'm going to make it. That's the real question. And I made it for the rope. Great stuff. Really don't think this is the best spot I should be in right now. But I mean, hey, I'm here now, so who cares? So I'm going to try and get two parts in one go right now. I'm going to try and do this part right here. And I'm going to try and do the part in there as well. So then I've only got to get one more part. So if I go into afterlife right now, and then I do this bit right here. So I hit this. And then I can go into afterlife. And I grab that right there. Oh, no, there's like 400 zombies. Great stuff. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. Hang on a minute. I was going to go into afterlife to do that part as well. But I panicked like an idiot, didn't I? Honestly, just going to wait in here because the next part, all I've got to do is destroy like these things with the lights on. So what you've got to do for this bit is you've got to destroy all of these generator things with the lights on. There should be another one right there. Is that it? Is that all I've got to do? Or is there another one? So I've done that one. Oh, there's one in here as well. Yeah, I totally remember that. There we go. So that's all three of them done. You'll know it's done when that starts smoking as well. Honestly, I need to get myself this MP5. Otherwise, it's going to go even more wrong than what it's already going. Because I forgot a lot of the major steps. Oh, no. This is getting a little bit crazy. Oh, man. I need to get out of here right now. But I'm too scared to go anywhere. Oh, yeah. I forgot I got this thing. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm so stuck right now. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. How am I still alive? This is kind of mad. Is that a max ammo? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. I need it right now. How am I still alive? My look is actually insane so for this next part what you got to do is you got to drop into afterlife in where i mean if you want to call it the showers or whatever i mean i guess that's what you can call it and what you got to do is you got to turn this on and then when you turn that on you got to go back to your body and then all you got to do is you got to turn this on right here you got to survive a lockdown which is i don't know if it's a minute or if it's like two minutes literally cannot remember you've not really got to kill any zombies you pretty much just got to survive but i mean you've got to kill them eventually so you might as well do it anyway do you know what i mean so now that brutus has spawned it's done and i've just instantly killed him thank god for that so now that we've got that bit, we've only got one more bit to get, and it's inside of the warden's office. So the point inside the warden's office is right here. Literally unlock that door and pick it up. So now, as you can see, we've got every single part to build the plane. It's just a case of literally building it. So once you've got all the parts, obviously you come up here and build the plane, and you literally, 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 when it lets me. Okay, I'm now on the plane. I just had to jump and get on it. See you later, zombie. I do appreciate you, but goodbye. So once you're on the bridge, I mean, I'm just going to pack a punch because why not? It just it isn't not going to help. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to pack a punch this thing, though, because I'm going to show you a little Easter egg on how to actually get the Blundergat for free as long as you've got this thing right here. So I'm not going to stick around either. I'm actually just... Okay, it's not going to let me go straight away. Fantastic stuff. When it does let me go, I'm going to go straight back to where I came from. Well, that was quick. So now that the chairs have spawned, I'm going to go straight back to where I came from, which is the prison. And now we are back in afterlife mode where we originally spawned. So you just revive yourself. And now we are going to get the blunder gap for free so the first location for the skulls you gotta get there's one right there it's literally a skull you know you've got it because it makes a noise and also because i mean well you'll see the skull the next one is just through here in the warden's office when i kill that zombie right there it's right about there let's see if i can get it first try and i did surprisingly and now there's 400 000 zombies oh man this is great stuff is that an insta kill i'm gonna take it bro so the next one is if i can see it it's at that right there did I get it first try no i didn't but it's at that light if we go around here we should be able to get it first try but we will soon see three two one 
There we go, we got that one as well. It's actually quite good I'm here because there's another one and it's right over there. This is probably my favourite map of all time, by the way, because Mule Kick is where it belongs, which is not in the map. The next one, if I remember right, I can't remember which pillar. I think it's this one, let's guess. I was correct, it was that pillar. And this is the last location I did actually forget. It took me a whole five minutes to remember. The last one is right on the corner of this building right here. There we go. So now you've got every single skull location and you'll know when you've got it because you'll hear that laugh. Shall I get this? You know what? No, I'm not. I'm just not going to do that to myself. I'm not that autistic. So now you've done all that, if you walk into here, the table will set on fire and a blundergat will rise. And now you've got the blundergat get speed color if you've not got it already because without speed color this thing is absolutely awful since i'm here as well i'm gonna go down into afterlife mode i'm gonna turn double tap on unless i've already done it which i don't think i actually have let's find out which way is it it's this way i knew that and okay i've already turned it on apparently i knew that honestly this gun is so good man you know when it first came out when this map first came out it's all i ever played this, up until recently, is actually my highest round. And I think, if I remember right on the PlayStation 3, it was like round 50 or 52. Which, for me, is quite impressive. I literally left my PlayStation 3 on for like 8 hours. And my mum wanted to go out somewhere, so I had to go with her, but I left the console on. It was on round 51 or 52 at the time, and it crashed by the time I got back. It broke my heart, but listen, it will always be somewhat of a fond memory, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. And now we've got the Acid Gat. Or as I like to call it, the Acid Gat. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I had to say it, I'm so sorry. So the next step to get the golden spoke is you've got to go all the way back to where speed color is. I don't know why I went the other way first, please don't ask me, apart from to obviously upgrade this bad boy. So first things first, you need to do this poster and it should disappear just like that off the wall. That's how you'll know you've done it correctly. And then you're going to afterlife mode just like this. And then what you'll do is this secret passageway will open and you'll see the spoke on the floor. And you just keep hitting it like this until it disappears. You'll know you've done it right when you hear the laugh. Once you've actually done that, you need to come back the way which I originally was in the cafeteria. And you'll see the spork right there. What you need to do, you need to hit it with your Hell's Retriever. And I just missed right there. Let's see if I can get it second time. Look at three, two, one, kaboom. If you're enjoying the video so far, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And turn those post notifications on. I upload every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 6pm. And he is dead. See you later, bro. Goodbye. So what you need to do as well is what I should have done before is upgrade this to the Viltrolic Withering. You need to go back to the bridge and upgrade it if you haven't done it already. I do recommend doing it first time, but yeah, I just didn't because I'm stupid. So if you've already been to the bridge and you've already got all the parts and things like that, you literally just need to get all the fuel caps. But before that, I'm going to build the zombie shield because I need it a lot. So once you've got all the fuel, you can literally just refuel the plane like you would when you originally build it. It's literally the exact same step. And just get back on that thing and upgrade this. Really wish I would have done it before, but I mean, yeah, I didn't clearly. Also, does anybody else remember doing this? Because honestly, this is the greatest thing of all time. This is better than any Easter egg known to mankind right here. So like I said, we're going to upgrade this now. Still can't believe I didn't do it before. It's such a basic step of this Easter egg and I just completely forgot. But now we've got it. The Viltrolic Withering. It looks beautiful. Let's be honest. It looks really, really cool. Does my boy really think he's got a chance right now? Because dude, you really just don't have a chance. I almost just died. Wow. Okay. Well, that just happened. That wouldn't have been good at all, would it? So once you've done that, you need to get enough kills with it until you you hear like a demonic laugh the same laugh that you'd hear when you got the skulls for the blunder guy in the first place i recommend doing it here just because it's quite a confined area to be fair you could probably even do this in the cafeteria but yeah i'm just doing it like this because um yeah i don't really know to be honest i don't have an answer for that question so now i've done it i've just heard the demonic laugh this has literally took me an hour right now and yeah i'm gonna go straight upstairs get the golden spoke and show you what this thing is really about right now so there we go we got it let's go and this thing is a one knife kill or one melee kill until i think it's about round 31 which is absolutely insane we're on round 16 right now and i am literally just pulverizing these guys it's absolutely insane and now we've got an insta kill which is really really pointless but this, my friends, is the golden smoke. If you do want to do it, I literally just showed you how to do it. I'll tell you a little secret as well. I've never actually done this Easter egg until today. All my friends have done it before, and then I've just basically been that guy that collects the reward for doing no hard work at all. I really put this at the number two spot because I wanted to see if I could do it by myself, but I also know if I did do it, that it'd be worth it. And, well, yeah.
yeah, I've got it now, so I can tell you it's really, really worth it. For the fifth and final zombies melee weapon, honestly, I just want to say this is really cool, but it does require a mod. Every single mod and custom map I will have used in this video will be in the description. So if you have access to the Steam Workshop and you actually have a PC with Black Ops 3 on it, I recommend downloading it because this is really, really cool. When you see it, you're going to be really, really surprised. So this mod is called the Ultimate Experience Mod and it has a leveling system. It tracks every single weapon that you could possibly use. You can level it up and you can unlock camos for it and things like that. And there's also 11 Pack-a-Punchers, or as they call it in this, enchantments. Each one gets more expensive. I've only got up to, I think, the fourth one, and I almost died straight away. Let's freaking go, boys. But this mod literally tracks everything you could possibly imagine. The amount of perks you've drank, the amount of time you played, pretty much everything. And I've got a death machine, which is great. And this is a really cool, different death machine as well. I like it. It also has custom weapons as well. So instead of having the Shiva on Black Ops 3 on the wall, we've got the Fal from Modern Warfare, I think this is from, which is really cool. I actually saw this mod on how do i say his name is it sanicho or something i saw it on his video there's also custom drops like i've got an xp drop right there this isn't a mod showcase the only reason i decided to load up this mod for this video is because there's a melee weapon in it there's also ammo crate drops as well the same way vulture aid works kind of is it just me as well or does the black ops 3 version of origins just look i don't know don't get me wrong texturally if that's even a word it looks better I just think it looks more bare bones. I really don't know why I think that, but yeah, it's only just dawned up on me. And we have a zombie's blood. Fantastic, but I'm not going to use it because I actually want the zombies to come towards me. Hang on a minute. Was the box there as well? Yeah, it was. I mean, okay, but let me just turn all the gens on first. Why are you hitting me for, bro? Just get away. What are you doing? Okay, I've just died. Really? Already? Really? It also tells you what the perk does as well. Like, I just got Jug, and it literally just explains to me what it does. I'm just going to hit... I'm going to hit the box after I've killed all these zombies in hope that I get the melee weapon first try. The first time I actually got it, it took me forever, but hopefully the orange is good to me because I did an Easter egg that I never done before. So please, zombie gods, if you can hear me right now. They can't hear me right now. Clearly, this is a Black Ops 2 multiplayer weapon, but I'll take it. Ooh, you got a zombie blood. Great stuff, but I'm just gonna leave it there, to be honest. You know what? I'm gonna actually use the vector because, I mean... I'm using the foul still for whatever reason. Honestly, the recoil on this thing, it's, yeah, it's pretty bad. Please give me this weapon that I want. Pretty please with a cherry on top. That is not it. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? And we got the MP7. Great, but I don't really want it right now, to be honest with you. You know what, guys? This isn't the melee weapon that I wanted, but it's the melee weapon that I'll use because, honestly, this is pretty cool. If you've got a weapon like this that you don't want, you can literally just swap it out as well, but you've only got a limited amount of time to be able to do it. Honestly, I think I'm going to keep the MP7 where is it? There it is. Is it just me though? Or does this thing look really, really cool? So I think that's the round over. Let's get this so I get an extra 800 in hopes that I actually get the weapon that I want right now. Ooh, what's this? It's the ACR. I'll take it. Okay, then. I'm also going to try and kill you in a few hits. Don't think it's going to happen, though. Is he dead? Have I just killed him straight away? Apparently not. He is dead. Let's freaking go, boys. It's probably not a smart idea at all to just be sat camping here like this, but, I mean, I'm dedicated to getting this weapon, okay? And we got the teddy bear. Great stuff. I guess that gives us an excuse to turn all the generators on. I don't know if you guys have noticed already, but I am level 20, so I have used this mod maybe one too many times already. And the box is, it looks like all the way at generator one, which is, I mean, yeah, great. On the right side, we've now got stamina up, which is great stuff. And we just undug some grenades or dug some grenades, should I say, not undug, that doesn't make sense. It also tells me I've noticed my highest enchantment, which is epic. So yeah, that's the third one, I think, if I remember correctly. We have officially done every single generator, great stuff. And we did it by round nine. I think that's quite fast. So where is the mystery box? Okay, it's at gen two. You know what? That isn't terrible. The MP40, not the gun we wanted, but I mean, listen, it's whatever. Oh no, why did I do this to myself? Oh, the death machine is saving me. Let's go. We have got the commando. I think this is the Cold War commando as well, or it looks like it, but it definitely doesn't sound like it. The RPK, very nice, very nice, but please... Just give me the melee weapon. Really? The Vector again? Are you being serious right now? The Browning M1919. This is pretty cool. I might actually... You know what? I'm not going to keep this. Really don't want it. Just going to keep this. And then when I get the melee weapon, I'll keep that as well. Which generator are they taking? I don't know. I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. I can tell because of that. Excuse me, zombies. Can you please, um, like, not take this right now? Please. I mean, it's kind of critical to my survival. And we've done it. I really need that max ammo, though. So if you please all just move a second, I could 
could just gracefully swing on past and get that max ammo if you guys let me anyway. Thank you, I got the max ammo. Fantastic stuff. And I've already got the 115 headshots achievement. Awesome. Ooh, a fire sale. Oh, yeah, I just risked that real bad. Oh, my God, what an absolute moron I am. Listen, if it gets me the melee weapon, really don't care right now. Hey, guys, do you remember when I said about it getting me the melee weapon? Well, guess what? This juggernaut bottle is a melee weapon. I will show you right the heck now. Kaboom! Oh, yeah, let's freaking go, boys. Just let me get a juggernaut real quick before it all goes really wrong. But we have got it. This is the best melee weapon in all of Zombies. I think it's just super unique. I know it requires a mod to use. But if we just take that out of the situation for a minute, okay? It's really, really cool. I'm drinking a Juggernog bottle, and now I've got a Juggernog machine. How cool is that? Boom, kaboom. I mean, I just think it's really cool. I mean, just look at it, for God's sake. You know what I mean? It's just awesome. Look at it. Honestly, didn't think I'd get it that quick. Thought I was going to be here a while. But I've got to pack a punch it. Do you know what I mean? If I don't pack a punch it, what type of guy am I? I know what type of guy I am. I'm a guy that's going to run and get quick revive right now before it all goes extremely wrong. You know what? Actually, I take that back. I'm not going to get quick revive yet because i've only literally got 500 points let me just build up a little bit of an economy real quick why is there this many zombies at gen 5 oh no okay i died great like i said before i just think this is the coolest wonder weapon in zombies as far as melee weapons go it's just so unique and i just think it's really 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 cool if you did enjoy the video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and turn post notifications on i upload every monday wednesday and friday at 6 p.m gmt uk time